going on guys? Sean here, Heavy Metal Eagle Podcast. I want to come at y'all with a little bit different of a video today. We'll probably talk a little birds, we'll probably talk a little bit of Philly, but uh, mostly this is going to be a little bit of a channel update slash, you know, New Year's resolutions for the channel. Um, and just to fill you guys out, get some comments and some feedback about what else you'd like to see off the channel. Um, first things first, as usual, please like, please subscribe, comment down below. It all helps with the algorithm. It all helps spread my channel around to other like-minded individuals. We always talk NFC East football around here, mostly the Philadelphia Eagles, obviously being an Eagles fan, obviously the name Heavy Metal Eagle Podcast kind of implies that it's an Eagle podcast, but the influx of Cowboys comments lately leads me to believe that maybe we should talk a little bit more. Um, also, I'm working on getting an intro done for the channel slash outro kind of thing. Start putting a little bit of something to my videos. Obviously, they will remain unedited in terms of what I'm saying. You're probably going to hear all of my little fuck ups. You're going to hear when I get things wrong. Uh, and you're going to hear when I'm really, really mad. Obviously, I don't want to edit any of that out. I think that I want to pride my channel on me saying what I have to say. I tell it in the description above, all around Twitter, everywhere I talk about my channel. This is opinion based channel. Uh, if I if I'm throwing any kind of facts out, chances are they came off someone else's page. I am not a fact checker. I am not the guy who's going to sit here and tell you all the perfect stats and stuff like that. You know, I'm telling you what I see, how I feel. It's that simple. We talk birds. We talk football. It's not that serious. If you don't think I'm a good content creator, you are more than welcome to go find a better one. If you're looking for Philly content creators, I can assure you, you can find better than me. But if you are here and you are still watching, just know I appreciate you. Anyway, intro, outro, little editing, nothing uh, of what I say is going to be edited. Um, just want to throw a little spice on the channel, throw a little something on it, you know, just to make it look better, make it look a little more professional, a little bit more like uh, I give a shit about what I'm doing, because I do. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of you guys know because you've been commenting, you've been talking with me and everything. Um, you know, I, you guys make it all worth it, you know, so I, I really appreciate that. So with this New Year's resolution stuff, uh, basically what I want to do, I want to start, you know, putting more into my channel. I want to really get my myself in gear to where I'm putting out like probably two, three Eagles videos a week, one Sixers video a week, maybe one Philly video, uh, Phillies video or hockey video sprinkled in here and there. Um, the basketball's a little bit harder. I can't watch every game. I, I, it's just impossible for me to watch every game. Um, I'll always link you guys to YouTube content creators that I personally watch when I'm talking about NBA basketball in just about every video I've done where I talk NBA. I believe I've pointed at either DJ Eastwood, Philly Mike, Philly Take with RB. One of those three guys always helps me with basketball knowledge, always helps me with understanding what's going on. Also lately, uh, new plug Sixers talk with Rob. Uh, he's been fantastic too. I really like how blunt he is. So if you want better Sixers talk and you hear me talking about it, you want more information, I'm always going to point you in the right direction to find better content. All right. So I may not be the best, but I'm trying to help you guys help those guys. We all come from the same place. We all love the same teams. Why not help each other out? I don't understand why there's content creators out there that are being selfish. You know what I mean? You just in it for the popularity. Now it ain't about that. I'm here to spit Eagles uh, talk, you know what I mean, and to say what I see. Other guys are in it for different reasons, that's fine. But shitting on each other, I, I don't play that game. So you're never going to really get that here. Um, and in the future, you shouldn't get it either, you know, unless I'm just talking out of my ass. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, you guys know what to expect when you come to this channel if you've been here before. If you're new, this is what to expect. It's that simple. Um... You know, other updates with the channel, going to get linked into an Instagram account probably real soon. Uh, probably going to spread it around a little bit. I might make a little Facebook like page. Um, going to probably adapt my Twitter from something more personal into podcast related because I don't really get on Twitter that much. It's all drama. So I think I'm just going to start switching everything over to the podcast here. Also, over the next couple months, I'm going to start exploring Spotify. I'm going to start exploring possible Twitch streams, maybe during games or something like that. Uh, just a little more to spread myself out. Just a little more to give you guys a little more. Um, if something works better for you guys, put it in the comments below. Let me know. DM me on Twitter, Heavy Metal Eagle Podcast. It's always the same, guys. It's always the same. Philly Sean on Twitter. Uh, you know, it's it, it, there's ways to find me, okay? I'll always 
forget shit. All right. Um, you know, I guess my last video has been kind of down on views. I don't know if maybe the algorithm hated me that day. Maybe the video quality was garbage or something. But, uh, you know, we got a, a minute or two here. Let's go ahead and let's uh, talk a little bit more birds. Um, Jalen Hurts looking doubtful to play this week. Guys, I don't know why everybody is surprised. Uh, Gardner Minshew did fine. I will say it again. I'll say it a hundred times. I'm not worried about this defense. I'm not worried about Dallas. I'm not worried about New Orleans. I'm not worried about it. You know, these coaches will have these players ready. We are getting healthier. We will be fine. Okay? Um, you know, we gave up 30 plus points to the Lions. You know, we didn't turn the ball over four times. We won. You know, we haven't turned the ball over most of the year. I don't... I don't think that suddenly everybody's going to start fumbling on every play. Uh, I just don't, I don't see stuff like that happening. I don't worry about stuff like that. I think we are going to be fine. We are going to win in New Orleans and barring something crazy. And if we do lose, we're going to win in New York. And either way, we lock up that number one seed. You only need one win. You know, we've had two, maybe three bad games in a row. And it's funny that you call them bad games when we've won one of them at least, two of them, you know, and and we're still putting up points with a backup, you know, the team's still playing well with a backup. I mean, Josh Sweat had an interception re return for a touchdown. You know, they're out here worrying about 10 sacks, and old boy took a pick to the house from Dakota Ray and Prescott. I mean, let's be positive, all right? Yeah, I was mad. You can find videos where I'm mad. You know, I got to get that out. I am flawed. But it is what it is. Um, not worried. One bit. You know, I don't think you guys should be either. I think we're going to be just fine. Um, you know, sit Jalen. Start game planning for the playoffs. Start game planning, figuring out what you're going to do. You know, uh, make sure he's got a nice fresh set of legs underneath him. And he's comfortable and confident. And we're fine. Jalen will lead us all the way. You know, ever since Micah said, is it the team or is it Jalen? Is it the system or is it Jalen? I mean, the team has looked pretty bad other than Jalen. Jalen can throw two picks in a game, rush for three touchdowns, and still look good. You know, I he is the MVP. He is the reason that this team is where they are. Yes, great defense has been great. But if he wasn't scoring points the way he's been, and if he wasn't as effective as he's been, that defense would be on the field a lot more, and they would not look nearly as good. I don't care who your corners are. I don't care who your safeties are. I don't care if you're the 85 Bears. If you don't have a run game or something to milk some clock away, that defense will get tired, and they will lose. That's the difference between good defense and good and bad defenses. Bad defenses don't have offenses to bail them out. They're on the field way too much. They've given up. Their offense is not helping them. Okay? We will be fine. Jalen will be fine. He should be the MVP. But, you know, that's still to be seen. Um... I had a little idea of something to cover for the Sixers, but I think I'm going to just turn that into a little short or a series of shorts. I think that's where a lot of my Sixers content is going to end up going, is into the shorts. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, you know, I know we're on a little bit of a skid, but we just won like six games in a row before that. So, I mean, you know, how many do you really expect them to win before they lose one or two? Also, you know, say what you want about the Pelicans. They're one of those weird teams that they can really beat anybody if it's on their right night. And, you know, from what I'm hearing about what happened last night, because I did not watch the game, haven't had a chance to yet. But uh, what I'm hearing about that game is that we just got outmatched. So that sounds like it was just one of those nights. Also, fire Doc Rivers, you know, at this point. Um, I think we waited way too long to fire Brett Brown. I don't want to see us do the same thing again. Um, but like I said, I'll save that for another video. Uh, that's not even important right now. Uh, still a long, long season ahead. When the playoffs hit, I'll be a lot more invested. Just like with baseball. Just like with hockey. You know, you give me a reason to watch, I'll watch. Eagles are stomping ass this year. I'll watch. If they weren't, I would still watch. But these videos would be very different. So with that being said, guys, I just want to shout y'all out again. Appreciate you so much. I hope you have a safe and wonderful
doing. Don't ever let anybody tell you that what you do isn't fun or isn't right, blah, 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 blah. What you do is for you, barring a couple terrible things, you know. I think we all know what those are, you know. Don't be a dick. Point is, be good people. Have a great New Year's. Be safe. Be good to other people. Help someone out today.